of all the places I've been to in the Philippines, this probably has the most diverse natural wonders I've ever seen. From mountains, beaches, waterfalls, ridges, and everything in between. This place has it all. This is our ultimate 5-day road trip in Mindanao. Just to give you a quick overview, this is a work trip I did last year which mostly covered Sok Sargent and some nearby places. And gusto ko lang share yung personal experience ko about the place and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Our trip started in Cotabato. We took an early flight out of Manila and nung nagland na kami, one thing that stood out for me is that there's no conveyor belt for luggage. So you just have to pick your bag straight from the cart, which is the first time experience for me and is fascinating. I just want to mention that the true MVP of this trip is Kuya Tour Guide slash driver namin kasi if not for him, this trip would have been a disaster. So having a local when you're traveling is such a superpower kasi no matter how much research you put into, there will always be places and access na only locals can give you. Day 1 started in Cotabato and during this day, the highlight for me of the trip is the Grand Mosque, which is the biggest mosque dito sa Philippines. And it's always hard for me to explain how nice or how magnificent the place is. Basta from the materials of the mosque to its size, it's truly a great piece of art. Then, Blue Lagoon, yung color of water is like Gatorade Blue. I didn't swim but from the looks of my friends, feels really refreshing. Day 2, we started at La Palmera. It's my first time seeing you just and super, super ganda talaga. It is a must visit especially when you are in that area. Then, later that day, dumaan kami sa Pink Mosque. The mosque was painted pink to symbolize peace and love and was built by Christian workmen to symbolize unity and interfaith brotherhood. Day 3, we started at Lake Cebu. It was one of the biggest lakes I've ever seen. One of my friends was able to try in traditional clothing nila and it was lit. The lotus flower around Lake Cebu is best appreciated in a drone's perspective, so ito siya. Later that day, we check in weaving center nila and see how traditional clothes are made. Everything is still made by hand so talagang ma-appreciate mo how much work is put into those pieces. Now, we are on day 4 and it's really packed. So, we begin at 7 Falls. Obviously, from the name, there's 7 Falls in that area. It was my first time to try a zip line and yung pa yung pinakamata sa Southeast Asia, definitely na kabab, but still, it is exciting. Then we went to Mount Matutum during the sunset. It was really gorgeous, probably just 10 to 15 minutes hike kasi they built a road that almost goes straight on top of that mountain. Probably my favorite spot of all the places na pinuntahan namin. We even got to drink coffee at the top and it was a bit chilly na during that time because the sun is about to set. Then, got to stay overnight at a traditional Tivoli house. I was really surprised because it was really comfortable to sleep there. I wish I had more time to sleep the odd, but we have to wake up early for our last day. Day 5 started at Tuna Fish Port, then dropped by sa boxing gym ni Manny Pacquiao at Jen San. Got to goof around here for a bit and then check out some beaches at Jen San. Super underrated ng beaches at Jen San, but the colors is really comparable to the best beaches we have here in the Philippines. Then, we ended our trip sa Pineapple Plantation. This one definitely improved my relationship ko with my colleagues at that time, which is the best part of our trip. It was definitely something to remember talaga. There's a lot of challenges now we face from the unfavorable weather, the stacking van namin sa Potikan, and then meron pa kaming hotel reservation na hindi nag-appear sa system nila from looking for money to withdraw sa mga ATMs doon. So it was definitely a challenging trip. But if you ask me if I'll do it again, hell yeah, let's run it back. So ayun, hopefully this video gives you an idea of what you could see sa Sox or Jen. But if you want a more in-depth video, you could check yung mga videos na ginala namin at the end screen of my video. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy watching. So please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section and see you in the next one. Peace out.